allowing us to come and be with you all. So thankful for my mom and my aunt and my babies being here with me and Sister Sandy and Felicia and Renee and Maddie and Bryson. Bryson, Bryson and me are buddies. He loves me and I love him. But I'm thankful for y'all coming tonight. But thankful for all of us because if nobody came, we wouldn't have youth service. Right. But we're pushing into worship. Amen. Right. You've got your Bibles, Genesis chapter 22. And it came to pass after these things that God, tempt Ab God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and sat on his ass and took two of his young men with him, mm -hmm. and Isaac his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went into the place which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. Right. How many know sometimes we have to be on a journey to where God's right. taking us? Right. But I do believe when we get close to it, we'll see it. Amen. Even though sometimes it's afar off, I believe we'll see the right. destination that the right. Lord has for us. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again unto you. And come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife. And they went of them, both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Uh -huh. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went, both of them together. How many knows that we got to be in unity tonight? Right. And they came to the place which God told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order. And bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and he took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, uh. Abraham. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon thy lad, neither do anything unto him. For now I knowest that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his horns. How many knows that sometimes there's some things that's behind you right. that you can't right. even see? Right. But God's got preparation for everything that you need. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of the place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mouth of the Lord it shall be seen. You can be seated if you like. Bless your Lord. I'm going to go to the Lord in prayer because I believe the enemy wants to stop his word from going forth. He's, he's fought us tonight. He's fought Sister Cassie. He's fought others probably tonight that's pressed on in. But how many knows that no weapon formed against us shall prosper? Afar off, 
And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go on and worship and come again to you. If I can talk to you about anything tonight, I will talk about abiding in the Lord.
those two young lads, I want you to listen to me. Even though those two young lads wasn't going up the mountain, uh -huh. they didn't have the fire. No. Nope. They didn't have the wood. No. Nope. They had a purpose. Right. Yes. They had to abide. Yes. See, sometimes we're wanting to go on up the mountain and we're wanting to be part of the worship and part yeah. of the sacrifice. But God is teaching us to abide. Uh -huh. God is teaching us faithfulness. Yeah. God is teaching us trust. Yeah. God is teaching us to lean upon Him and to wait for Him right. and to be able to hear His voice. Yeah. See, when He's wanting us to abide, we're listening. Because yeah. we know some point or another He's going to tell us to go, but right now we got to abide. Yeah. And some of us are in that place right now. God, I know you've got more for me, just like Sister Emily read. I know there's more for me, but right now I'm having to abide. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you about it. It ain't easy. Yeah. I'd like to know where my ministry's going right now. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it laid out, but I don't see it, Brother Jeff. But I'm Abraham's seed because he feared the Lord. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll read it to him. And said, By myself I have sworn, saith the Lord, for because has done this thing that is not withheld thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee. And in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the right. stars of heaven right. and the sand which is upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gate of what? His enemies. Amen. And it says, thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Uh, Do you want your children to face the same demons from hell that you face? Oh, Do you want your children to on. fight with drug addiction? Do you want your children on, to fight with adultery? Do you want come your on. children to battle alcohol? Do you want your children to live? testifying of God's goodness right. and I believe that means using your life every day to testify right. of what God has done for you right. if you testify one thing on Sunday but you live something on Monday you're not an overcomer but by God's grace he pulls us up he does this off he puts us back on that car if you're in and he starts molding and making us I say there's not nobody in here that don't have some scars from the enemy I say there's nobody in here that don't have a past but because of my past I have
has given me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's enough for you young people tonight. Amen. You don't have to reach out to things of this world to feel that emptiness in your heart. That's what this altar's for. Right. You don't have to reach back to people that are not good for you, not good influences. Right. That's what your congregation is for. Right. That's what your youth leader and your pastor is for. Yeah. You don't have to lean on things that are going to torment you and bring you down. Right. But you can lean on the Lord yeah. and He don't waste anything. Right. Where's our worship tonight? Right. Where's our worship in the midst of the battle? Amen. Where's our worship when times get hard? Abraham found that his worship was his breakthrough. Right. Abraham found that his worship was his seed yes. life. Amen. Give God some praise because he's worthy. Amen. I don't feel like that this message went out in vain, and I hope and I pray that it touched you tonight. Amen. And if there's anybody young, middle aged, older, Mom said I'm not a young adult anymore. She said I'm middle-aged now. <laughs> but if there's anybody, no matter what your age is, if there's anybody that's struggling, come to this altar. Let your brothers and sisters in the Lord tarry with you. This is where we gain our strength. This is our feeling station. Let the Lord touch you tonight. Is there anybody that just needs strength from the Lord? Is there anybody that just needs help from the Lord tonight? Would you come? As they sing, would you come tonight? The Lord is wanting some men and women of God to stand and abide. Abide in His faithfulness. Is there anybody tonight? Our soul calls for Jesus. 